Hello and welcome back to some more Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. And I'm smiling right now, but it's not a happy smile. Because in the last episode, in case, let's see, can we even, can we even find it on this madman of a chart? It's probably here. Because this is the one where we have two game overs and then one insane cinematic. Okay, so, last episode, we solved some crazy puzzles. It just They were insane. Then, we played an Ambidex game. Um, where the game did its, if you pick one way, then they betray you. If you pick the other way, then they ally you, because that's just how this game works. But that wasn't the worst part. The worst part was that we then had to sit there for what felt like five hours, waiting, w w listening to Akane fail catastrophically to criticize Back to the Future. It was very entertaining, I'm sure. But it was also painful as all hell. And I just find it really funny that this game, of all games, has the audacity to criticize Back to the Future's time travel rules. I find that really humorous. So I just can't wait to keep playing, because I'm sure we're not going to find anything in the future of this game that's going to make that's gonna make them look even stupider for trying to do what they did last episode. And I'm sure there won't be any more logical inconsistencies. I'm sure it'll all be just fine. So let's test that theory by going to the only fragment we can right now, which is jumping back to the rec room, because it looks like we've bypassed one of the story locks. So that's pretty neat. Wait, 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 that one doesn't count. Oh, uh, um, I, uh, uh... Your hand slipped! That was it, right? Yeah, what she said. Uh, uh you, you wouldn't... Just so you know, these animations look just as bad <laughs> as they did the last Ooh, time. Find a little do-over, right? Zero? Also, I can't help but think of Ghost Trick whenever I see the, the consciousness switching between things. Oh, did it work? But this is... Now what? Hurry, Junpei, what was your idea? Yeah, um, right. First. <gasps> uh, what? What the hell? Carlos, put Akane what? in the fireplace. What? Huh? Just do it. What? Uh, Junpei, what are you? Akane, listen to me. Carlos and I are going to be your shield wall. What? What? That's not how bullets work. What are you talking about? The bullets shouldn't hit you if there are two bodies in front of you. Yeah. But, but if you do that, then you'll... It's okay. What is this plan? Carlos and I will protect you and die. The where, fuck? where, what? Don't worry, it'll be where, fine. Where, 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 where? we die, we just need to shift to another history. Uh, where, okay, nope, nope, we're gonna let it play out. We'll, we'll talk about how dumb it is later. We'll let this play out, and then we'll talk about how dumb it is. Once you hear all of the X passes, Akane, you should follow right away. The, the X passes? In this history, five are already dead. Five's the only other one alive. That means five X passes will be revealed. If Carlos's and mine are added to that, then there'll be seven. No! Damn it, Junpei! What the hell is this plan? It's idiotic. If Carlos is telling you your plan is dumb, maybe go back to the drawing board. We're going to help, right? Damn it! Please, don't do this! We, we can't go back now. This is the only way. Where are we jumping? To the history when we rolled the dice and they were all ones. Okay, let's do this. You couldn't possibly do this. Let's protect the There's no way. You could not no possibly what? do this. I'm counting on you, Carlos. No! That's... Uh, 
Well, that didn't take long for this game to do something dumb. It happened almost immediately, actually. Now announcing. So do I have to actually write these write these down? Like, I'm sorry, look at that furnace, or sorry, fireplace, look at that fireplace. There is absolutely, positively no way Akane survives this. As a result, seven X-Passes will be revealed. I kill fool, moon, fate, save, doll. All right, well, we know it's not I kill or fool because those are for Q-Team. Moon and fate would, um, we know doll is Junpei. And if the ones that are right next to each other are go to the certain teams, then save must be Carlos's, so we'll keep those down here. Um, section them off so we know which ones to that is belong all. to them. No, you did not survive that. No, you're, you're not alive. There's absolutely, positively no way that you survived that. No, that did not happen. That did not happen. Horrible. That's not how bullets work. I should go now. What? <laughs> well, you got over that real fast. Please go back to the. Please go back to the to the to the, to the title level select fragment select screen so I can talk about how dumb that was. Please go back to the screen. Okay. All right. So, number one. <laughs> Let's get let's get the the surface level stuff out of the way first. Um, remember like last time when you were talking about how you shouldn't jump back, you shouldn't uh, shift as it were because doing so will kill the other consciousness in which you're replacing. Yeah, well your that principle just got thrown out the window almost immediately. Nice nice job staying consistent there, game. But more importantly, Akane did not survive that. That is not how bullets work. The bullet. There's no, there's absolutely no way that, okay, especially because it was a Gatling gun. It, like, okay, so I thought that the, the, the insane logic they were going to try to apply was that if Junpei and Carlos were both on top of each other, that the bullet wouldn't be able to penetrate both of their bodies, which is still dumb. But even if that was the logic they were going for, then, then it's like, okay, so then the, the gun will just kill it from a different angle. But nope, they, they created a, a shield from multiple, like, essentially body blocks from all directions so the guns couldn't possibly hit her, which also doesn't make any, which, so in that case, the new problem is that the gun, w the bullets would still penetrate your bodies and it would still hit her, evidenced by the insane amount of bullet holes around the fireplace. That, I, <sighs> this, this is, this, I, this, I, <laughs> So, let me guess, now the only place we can go is, yep, let's go to the other story lock. Oh, this freaking game. What in the world were you thinking? What is your problem? Look, the three of us shifted just fine, so what's the big deal? It's not okay. Uh, we did get seven X passes at least. Not you too, Carlos. I can't believe you! You always were like that, weren't you, Junpei? When we were in sixth grade, you faced those rabbit-killing middle school kids alone. There were probably other ways of handling it, but you rushed right in. Even the shifting. It's okay because it worked, but... What if I was left behind there? Well, I, uh, I figured you could escape alone then, or, or something. But that way of thinking is completely wrong. Being the sole survivor does not make me happy. There's no point in living once you lose the one you care about the most. Akane. Yes, please get the f*** out of here, Carlos. I don't want you. You need to- you need to get the hell away. No one wants you here. 
I'm sorry. I... I never meant to ever cause you pain like that. Oh, is, are we gonna- are we What's gonna that? get the scene? We, is, is he gonna- Well, um, remember back in elementary school, your dream was to wear a ring on your left hand? Um, that's a very- okay. Oh, so... That- that's her right hand, Junpei. What do What's you- What's the matter? J J Junpei? That- that- that's her right hand. <laughs> Junpei? <laughs> Do you not know you <laughs> this man You really got over hitting him real fast, didn't you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, you really changed your tune <laughs> fast. <laughs> you know this is my right hand, don't you? Wait, what? You don't know oh, directions! You're right. You- I- I-, I it, um, it, it looked you don't, like he the doesn't left know directions. From, from my side, so- he, uh, he doesn't know directions. <laughs> That's just like you, Junpei. Hey, remember like 10 seconds ago when you hated him with a fiery passion because- I- <sighs> Uh, well, we'll move it to the correct finger later. Or now? <laughs> I'll do it officially after we escape from here. I understand. So, until then, I'll leave an empty spot open. <laughs> it's been put on reserve. Well, uh, okay, so, um, I was correct, Moon, Fate, were Dying, and Sigma, and that means that Doll and Save were probably Carlos and Akane. You know, okay, so first of all, it's insanely hard to take that seriously with the abysmal animations of this game. Second of all, Junpei doesn't know what directions are, he doesn't know his left from his right, I don't, I, how do you, I... Third... Clearly what happened there is that they tried to they tried to rescue this abysmal timeline where nothing makes any sense by shoving in some last minute fan service because everybody knows that every that the, the one the one thing I care most about in this game character wise was was seeing the resolution between Junpei and Akai's character development from the first game and if that is the conclusion we got a scene where Junpei doesn't know his left hand from his right hand. If that's what we what I get for suffering through this game. Wow. That's all I have to say. It's just, just wow. Ooh. Akane. Do you remember the X passes? Save and doll. Pain me? Save and doll. Yes. Normally when someone shifts, they forget the memories from the last timeline. But I'm used to it. It's all there. But Carlos is apparently also used to it. And Junpei, despite having denied that this was even possible about an hour ago, is also used to it. But wait, hold on. Carlos and I remember what happened before, too. Huh. I think the memories were strengthened due to the resonance of- Then why didn't you bring Carlos with you into the nonary game in Virtue's Last Reward? Oh wait, that makes too much sense. I did not mean to open the memo. But, wait, what- what button did I even? What button did I even press to bring this up? Hold on. What did I? What? Not control. What? What button did I? I have no idea what I just hit on the on the keyboard to make that happen. Okay, well, whatever. Um, the point is this game makes no sense, and it retroactively created a plot hole in Virtue's Last Reward, which I I did. Wow. Those just, with wow. the ability to shift. Oh. There are three of us here, so... But, I wonder why. 
Why have three shifters got- Yeah, don't even get me started on the insane contrivance that every single important person just happens to be here all at the same time. Like, that's just ins insane that everybody is at this exact same place. Like, okay, yes, I get it. Um, a Akane has to be here because she's with that organization or whatever. Um, and Junpei followed Akane, so okay, you're fine with that. Sigma and Phi... Sure, it's lucky that Sigma and Phi jumped back to the exact place where Junpei also happened to be. Um, Diana... I don't even, like, she's, Diana has no importance, no, no bearing on anything, she's just, again, a blank slate for the play, okay, I guess she has, she's got, she has development with Phi that she's gonna go through or whatever, but her as an individual person has no connection to anything, she and Carlos are just here to be here, um, and I get that Carlos has offered money to join, but why did the people in Q team join, exactly, and what, like, the fact, the convenience, because there was, there was reasoning in VLR and 999 for the people to be there that were there, here, like, they all had to sign up for this. They voluntarily signed up for this. There was no coercion here. It just voluntarily saying, yes, let's sign up for this. And you just happened to get everybody you wanted. I... Gathered <sighs> in a place like this doesn't really seem like a coincidence. And yet you all voluntarily signed Ooh. up for this. Huh. True. Even if we really are seeing more shifters in the world, the probability... Wait. The numbers are increasing? Mankind is about to face an unprecedented crisis. As it stands now, we'll lose six billion lives. I assume mankind has sensed that and is adapting. They sensed, uh, oh, okay. Even though it's, in reality, only a small portion, there's no way there are tens of thousands of shifters. Then it's definitely on purpose. But we signed up for DCOM of our own free will. Wait a minute. But maybe we just think that. Oh, don't even, don't, don't. Game, you do not want to, after everything you've just pulled, you do not want to add mind control onto the list of things. Like, oh, we were, they hacked into our brains and they mind controlled us to come here. Don't do that. Don't go down that route. In actuality, it will not end well for you. We did exactly what Zero wanted? It's highly possible. Ah, damn. What is that bastard thinking? Wasn't it because he needed us to shift? Why would that be important? I'm sorry, isn't the whole- what- how exactly is Radical Six of escaping? Okay, so we know now that Radical Six escaped this- wait a minute, wait a minute! Is this game trying to tell us that Radical- the only reason Radical Six escaped- because- oh my god, oh my- Well, that didn't take long, oh! <sighs> hey, okay, so... You may be wondering what- what I just- I don't know why it took me this long, okay, so... Um... The the timeline we saw in which uh, Diana was the only... D Diana brought Phi up to the surface and Sigma was because they, there needed to be a timeline that would connect to Virtue's Last Reward. And that's, that's the one that connects to it because Phi brings the virus into the world and Sigma loses his eye and his arms. But, so... Is the game trying to insinuate that that is the reason that, like, that, excuse me, chain of events is what led the virus to escape in the first place? Because if so, then guess what you've just done, game? You've just created a bootstrap paradox! And if you don't know what a bootstrap paradox is, I'll happily explain it to you. Basically, it's a classic chicken and the egg example. It's a thing where... An event in the future can only happen based on something that happens in the past that they- Okay, I, maybe I should- Uh... So basically, something that's going to happen in the future, such as, for instance, the Radical Six virus escaping, the only reason why it escapes is because people in the future go back in time to try to prevent it from escaping. So, in order for the virus to escape, um, the virus has to have already escaped, essentially, which is called a bootstrap paradox. Another example! Um, let's say someone is born in the future. Okay, born in the future. So let's say someone is, is alive in the future. He goes back in time, and 
causes his own birth somehow. The, which means the only reason he could have ever been alive in the first place is, is, if, is if he was already alive to cause himself to be born. That's another example of bootstrap paradox. Um, and they're both awful. So in the case of this game, we're dealing with the Radical Six bootstrap paradox, which means that uh, maybe this maybe there will be something else later. But if we are if we are meant to assume that the reason why it escaped this facility is because Phi was injected with the virus and Carlos not Carlos and Sigma lost his arms and eye, which leads to the first last reward, and Diana brought everyone up to the surface, then that is a bootstrap paradox. And do you do you remember in the last game when this when or the last game the last episode when this game was so so confident in making fun of Back to the Future? Yeah, well that aged like milk now, didn't it? It'll all be over once we get out of here anyway. Why? You haven't stopped the virus yet. You're Do you right. remember why you're here? We couldn't care less what Zero has Do you remember why you people are here? We need six X passes. We know five of them already. So, one more. Akane, tell us one of the other X passes. Also, why would this work? Shouldn't the X passes only work if they're if they're already dead? It's why, save. Why would this work? Why? Why would? That's not how you spell save. Why would this work? And why did you? Hey, what the hell? Wait, wait. Is the X pass wrong? Some. Hey, it's almost like jumping to a timeline in which you're not dead doesn't let the X passes work. Oh, no. Th that can't be! You idiots! Yeah, let's try the other one too! Akane! Uh, it's dull. Please, if this works. Wow! It's almost like. You know what? For once, I'll give the game a point. Because they figured out that, hey, this shouldn't work if you're not dead. But I'm also gonna take a lot of points off because. If these people are smart enough to do all the things they've done, then they shouldn't be able to figure out that... Oh my god, but... They should be able to figure out that their X-Passes would only work if they're dead. How can you be this dense? What the... No way. Why do you think the X-Passes aren't on the wall? Can you seriously not figure this out? You don't even need that! You don't, not even that! Just literally, they're alive, so it shouldn't work. That's literally all you have to do. That- You shouldn't be stunned by this. What? You're not- You're bo- No! What are these people? These people. <laughs> Chupe. <laughs> now this is hilarious! How perfect! Why? Why did we even struggle through all of that just now? Those guns turned my body into Swiss cheese. And you're telling me that it was all for nothing? All we did was die in vain? So, just one person needs to die. What? Just, just one more person, and Akane and Carlos can... Junpei, you... Wait, Junpei! Hey! I hate the running animation. What? 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 Whoa, <laughs> wait, what, wait, 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 what? Uh, you're... Penalty, penalty. You are charged with a rule violation. Whoa, what? That means you must be punished. B punished? Wait, 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 wait. Time to exterminate. Exterminate? Oh my god! Oh my god! 
god! What was that? Ah! Oh my god! I can't breathe! What? Oh my god! matter I gotta do something if I die I, now, I can't I even pay. what is this game Kane, what is this think. game I gotta think ah, there must be a way oh my god so wait just jump you idiot just shift ah, there has to be <laughs> oh my I that what you god. Did was shift Carlos what was that that's it shift I could shift! There's no way I'm leaving Junpei and Akane behind. I'll come up with a plan in another history and jump right back. Ah, uh, where do I go? Which history should I jump to? Damn it, I don't have time to think. Then... What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That was hilarious! Oh my god! That... So first, Junpei just runs to- Where was Junpei- What was Junpei's plan? Where was he trying to go? And then how did freaking- How did Q get here? Isn't- Isn't Q supposed to be dead? Didn't we kill him? Why is he alive? Okay, so Q got here. And then Q became Sonic the freaking Hedgehog, like, got to, got to, got got gotta, gotta go fast. Freaking, near. What, what's that term? Naruto run to towards him. <coughs> and then freaking tackles him, like, punches him across the universe. It freaking, all their bodies just flop. The animation is what made that so hilarious. They're just flopping against the wall, bouncing all over the place. Freaking Naruto running, Mario Goomba stomping. I just, I can't. I can't! What is this game? Oh my god, this game is insane! This... Okay. Let's... Let, where are we going now? Oh, that... Okay. We're going to that... Is that the last story lock that we had to bypass? I think that might be. Uh, I think that might be the last story lock we have to bypass, which is... Cool. Pretty good. Exciting stuff. Great. Let's... Let's... Let's go. Oh my god, I actually... I actually, I was laughing so hard. I, I, I haven't laughed that hard at anything in a long, long time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Junpei. And I shouldn't have been laughing at it because like it was, they were getting beamed all over the place. But like, come on, the ragdoll physics of their character models, and freaking Naruto running, Sonic the Hedgehog, gotta go fast! Just freaking... <laughs> come on, you can't, you can't tell me that wasn't hilarious to watch. I'm sorry. I couldn't... avenge you. Akane? I... I just killed... <gasps> no. Why is Akane? Don't you know what timeline you jumped to? Yeah, I didn't need to see that again. Thanks. I did not need to see that again. That was not on the list of things I needed to see today. This is the history where Connie was killed. Do you I, not know where you jumped to? I killed her. No, I didn't kill her. The one who did was me from this history. Oh, this can't be kept like this. I need to do something at least. The anesthetic worked somehow. The pain's dull. I don't know how long it'll last. 
Regardless, who was that kid? Who was he? Why was he still alive? Why did he turn into an evil robot? Have to figure out How did he get him. here? Why is he yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog? There's one more thing I need to do. He's like, I just realized he's Sonic and Mario. He's he gotta go fast and Naruto ran toward everybody and just Spartan charged him across the room. And then he turned into Mario and Goomba stopped Carlos. If I ain't got nothing on on, on Q's Goomba stomping oh, skills. Vision I saw. I have to tell Q team. As you have there's there's the freaking dog again. Back at it again. Counting on you, Gab. Why is this dog here? That was the fakest throwing animation I've ever seen in my life. Now then, what's left is figuring out who that kid is. He might have been the one who killed Junpei in this history. Oh, that's it. Oh, 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 that, oh, that's, oh, that's the fragment. Oh wow, that that was the, that was it. Okay, so are we done with are we done with story locks now? Have we bypassed them all? Nope. What's this one? What? How can how can there possibly be more? How can there possibly be? <sighs> You know, I'm gonna call this episode off here. This, this, this was something. This was a doozy of an episode. I, th I thought the last episode was something with the whole Back to the Future bullshit. But now we got just everything that happened this time. Alright, well, I think... I think now's probably a good time to revive Q-Team. Bring them back from the dead. Um, because this, it's like... <clears throat> I mean, like the... If if, if 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 we're trying to keep this consistent with with what's what's happening in the story, Carl's is going to try to find Q team. So we'll just do a Q team fragment. It's just just to remind. I mean, we only have one choice. We have to do this one because it's the only one we have unlocked that we haven't done yet for Q team. So we'll we'll do this one. Um, just because, like I said, it's the last. It's the last. We don't have anything else unlocked. We have to do this. We may as well. We had to return to Q team at some point, and because I figured, you know, since. Carlos is going to look for them. We may as well do this now. I just... Oh, wow. This was... That, that was something else. This this game just... This, this episode was a mix of Oh my god, please end me bad and Oh my god, my sides, I can't breathe bad. Which is honestly probably a good mix, but... <laughs> oh, oh, zero escape, zero time dilemma. How you never cease to amaze me. Well, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time to catch you all tomorrow for some more Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. Goodbye.